Tests are a part of life. That's something these newborns are learning right from the start. And since children begin learning speech and language in the first six months of life, it's important to detect any hearing difficulty as early as possible. Whether the problem is caught during the screening or develops later on, it's time for quick action on the part of parents. The first step, get your team in place. The first member that you would want to look for would be an audiologist. And you would want to find an audiologist with whom you feel comfortable and confident that they're going to help you manage your child's hearing loss. You would also want an ENT on your team as well as our rehabilitation therapist and a speech language pathologist. All of those members are going to help you and guide you through each step. Once your team determines your child's level of hearing loss, the focus then shifts to therapy. One option is to have your child fitted for a hearing aid that will basically make sounds louder by boosting the frequencies. Hearing aids can be used for varying degrees of hearing loss, but for children with profound loss, the team will more than likely recommend a cochlear implant. It bypasses the damaged part of the inner ear, sends all those electrical sounds and signals to the hearing nerve so that the child can hear. But stimulating your child's auditory skills is only half of the equation. Children also need to perfect their language skills, the ability to express their thoughts and to interact with others. Who is hungry? Me! Classes like this one here at the Pediatric Audiology Preschool are mainstreaming hearing impaired students by teaching them right alongside children with no hearing problems. Five-year-old Erin and her classmate Daniel, who's also five, have certainly come a long way since we first met them in 2001, only three weeks into their starting at the audiology preschool. We've noticed a big difference. He was profoundly deaf before and was not able to hear much of anything. And since he's had his cochlear implant, he's responding really well. Every now and then we hear a new word spontaneously. What's the cow say? And have these two learned a lot? Just check them out now. Turn around, listen. Use your ears. E e e e e e. Good. Yeah, you heard it. We just take everyday situations and, and we make language around those that parents may not think about because they're not used to having a hearing impaired child. What do you need? I want a napkin. Good boy. It teaches social skills. It teaches great peer interaction. It gives the hearing impaired children a consistent model. A model that Aaron and Daniel have followed closely. Now they're set to enter kindergarten with typical hearing children this fall. It's the same shirt. It's difficult when you realize that your child has been diagnosed with a hearing impairment. But the wonderful news is you can begin that road of intervention and even though it's a long road, you can, you can make it. Ashes, ashes, we all fall For Smart Medicine, I'm Lorraine Cachola. You're probably wondering how Aaron and Daniel are progressing. According to Daniel's instructors, he's been successfully mainstreamed, as expected, and Erin is progressing rapidly as well. She's gone from five days a week of intensive therapy to just one hour a week. And as her father tells us, she's surpassing all expectations since first starting her treatment. She's mainstreamed and she's actually just tested for an advanced class. Most of the teachers at the school, unless they've been Erin's teacher, don't know that she's hearing impaired. She's just like every other kid in class. It's been far better than I could have ever hoped for. 